Last time on Pixelmon, we defeated every single Elite Four member, but this was the least of her problems. Next up was the champion Red, and he has been extremely challenging to beat in the past. Let's go ahead and take a look at some of her previous battles. To say the least, defeating him is not going to be an easy feat at all. Today, we're going to be going ahead and trying to defeat Red once and for all. Watch the video to the very end to see if it's actually possible. But first, I do want to announce the second giveaway winner, which is Lil Aiden Will. Hopefully, I'm actually pronouncing that right, and you actually have won a $25 voucher for the Pokeland store. Make sure to go ahead and join the Discord and redeem it. It's actually very simple. But anyways, let's just go ahead and jump right into the video. I'm super excited, guys, so let's go ahead and jump right into this. Okay, guys, so let's go over my team real quick. So as you guys can see right here, we do have... I entered into a Pokemon battle? So I accidentally entered into a Pokemon battle with a level 16 Rock and Rolla. No need to go ahead and waste any moves on this thing. Let's go ahead and run, and we're good to go. So let's go ahead and throw our first Pokemon, which is going to be Hydreigon. Let's go ahead and throw him out. And as you guys can see, he actually is pretty much... All my Pokemon are level 100, which is good. As you guys can see, let's go ahead and actually bring our Pokemon back. Let's go for the next one, which is going to be... So apparently, Trainer Brainiac does have a Solgaleo, which is actually pretty cool. But let's go ahead and go on to our next Pokemon. For the next Pokemon, we do have Empoleon. So this is actually a pretty tanky Pokemon, and this is going to do us really good inside of this battle with the champion Red. For our next Pokemon, we actually have Charizard, and as you can see, Trainer Brainiac was still trying to battle us, but you know, it's, we don't have time for that. We need to go ahead and save all of our energy for champion Red. For our next Pokemon, we actually have Flygon, so this is an OG to the team. This is in Episode 1, so it's going to bring him back. He has a good moveset, and he does have a Choice Scarf, so if we go ahead and actually use the same move. I'm guessing, I forgot what the Choice Scarf does, but I know I put it on there. So it's going to allow us to go ahead and use one move, and it actually gives us a benefit for using that move over and over again. So I'm guessing it hits first always. I'm guessing that's what it does. For our next Pokemon, we have our Mega Lucario, which is going to be absolutely insane to go ahead and use against Red. And for our last Pokemon, we have Dragonite. So I think we're ready for the battle against Red. Our moveset is perfect, and I think I'm ready to go. So let's go ahead and jump into the battle. Okay, so we have finally made it to the champion Red. And I'm super excited to go ahead and get this over with so I can become the brand new champion. So let's go ahead and send out our first Pokemon, which is actually going to be... Flygon should be able to go ahead and take out this Shuckle. I'm not 100% sure why he's actually leading with a Shuckle, but this is some strange stuff. Since my Flygon does have a Choice Scarf, it's going to be locked into this one move, which is going to be Earthquake. So we better take this thing out quickly. And now we actually do have a status effect, which is going to be Poison. So I'm hoping to get rid of this thing immediately. We're going to try for one more Earthquake. If this doesn't really... Okay... So, that has done a lot of damage. We gotta waste one more Earthquake on it to go ahead and take out Shuckle. And there we go. So, four Earthquakes. That Pokemon is just ridiculously tanky for no reason. But now, we are actually winning by one. But he's sending out his next Pokemon. So, I have no choice but to switch out because I am locked into Earthquake and he just sent out Star Raptors. So we're going to go ahead and switch into Hydreigon real quick and this should go ahead and do the trick. Whoa! Okay, so he just took us out in one hit. I am super scared, guys. I don't even know what's going on. Okay, so now it's one to one. This is kind of scary, guys. So I decided to go ahead and switch out into Empoleon. I'm hoping that we're going to be all good to go. So we're going to try for the move Hydro Pump. I'm really hoping that this does some decent damage. Okay, he just took out... Oh, no. Okay, this is not good, guys. So we need to go ahead and use Drill Peck. No, okay, guys. This is not good. This is not looking good. I don't know if we can actually win this battle. So we are going to be taken out just, in, this is not looking good because we have two Pokemon taken out. So we need to go ahead and send out another one. I'm hoping that Hydreigon, actually no, Hydreigon's gone. Actually, that's not good. So I'm hoping that we can take this thing out and it's not looking good. 
So I'm going to send out Dragonite, so let's go ahead and try for this. I'm hoping that this is going to actually get rid of this Star Raptor. In order to take this out, we're going to use it in extreme speed. This will always hit it first, which is good. So I'm hoping that he sends out another Dragon type or something to replace that Pokemon. Okay. So he just sent out an Azumarill. This is not good because I'm guessing it has Belly Drum. I'm hoping he's not doing what Trainer Brian has done in the past to me. We're going to hit it with an Earthquake. So let's see. Okay, this is not doing as much damage as possible. This is not good, guys. I'm hoping this thing does not survive. So we need to go ahead and hit it with an Earthquake. Please, no. Okay, this is very scary. Okay, I do not like Belly Drum. Belly Drum Azumarill is super powerful, but we were lucky to go ahead and take it out in time. So he's probably going to go ahead and Mega Evolve. So we're going to go ahead and hit it with a Fly, I'm hoping. But we're going to wait for this full transition to Mega Evolve, which is kind of annoying, but it's got to be done. So I'm going to send out Charizard, and this is going to be the perfect thing to go ahead and actually take out Red. I'm really hoping that this is going to do the trick here. So I'm going to try for Flamethrower. I believe it is part Steel type, which is going to be... We're already taken out. So we're going to try for a Meteor Mash, but we need to go ahead and Mega Evolve. So we have one more Pokemon, which this is not looking good, guys, to be honest with you. So we're going to go ahead and use Meteor Mash, and we're going to go ahead and Mega Evolve real quick, just like Red. So I'm hoping that this is going to be good, and I'm hoping that we can go ahead and take out this thing as fast as possible. So I'm going to try for an Aerial Ace. We're down to our last Pokemon. Okay, so we have finally made it to the Champion Red. So we're going to go ahead and throw out our first Pokemon. Let's go ahead and do that. And we are good to go. So I'm hoping that we can go ahead and finally win this time. So he just sent out his guard jump, and it's not a mega. If I remember his team from before, he had a mega Lucario. So let's go ahead and hit it with a drill pick real quick. So we should be good to go. So I'm hoping that we can go ahead and actually take this out, but I doubt it, guys. So let's go ahead and try to take out this guard jump. So I decided to go ahead and switch out because my Pokemon was probably not going to have a single chance against the guard jump. So we're going to go ahead and try for an Outrage real quick. So I'm hoping that this is going to go ahead and do some massive damage to it. But I am going to be locked into it. Which is... Oh! Okay, guys. That did a decent amount of... Oh, my goodness. This is crazy, guys. No way. You got to be kidding me. So he just took our Hydreigon. So we're going to go ahead and try for something different. That is insane. So he just... He just survived with a little bit of health. This is crazy, guys. So we're going to finish it off with Flygon real quick. So let's go ahead and send him out. And we're going to hit it with a Dragon Rush. Never mind. I remember I got rid of it. So we're going to hit it with another Outrage real quick. So hopefully we can go ahead and take it out. As you guys can see there. And there goes Garchomp. But we are locked into this one move. So let's go ahead and see. Oh my goodness. We are locked into this, guys. And we're going to be confused for a little bit. So Star Raptor has just taken us out. So we're going to go for another Pokemon. So we're pretty evenly matched right now. Oh, wait, I'm wrong. Hold on. Whoa. Okay, guys, so we just survived that with one HP. That is insane, guys. How do we actually survive that? So right now, it is not wise actually risking this last Pokemon. So we're going to go ahead and switch out because I really don't want to take any chances. And Chansey is actually a pretty tanky Pokemon and has a lot of HP. I'm going to go ahead and send out a fighting Pokemon. So I'm hoping that we can go ahead and defeat this thing real quick. So we just need to go ahead and hit it with a close combat real quick. I'm hoping that we can go ahead and take this thing out. We're mega evolving. I'm really hoping that we're going to be able to go ahead and take out this shanty. But hopefully one move all it's going to take because I already did. Oh my yo. So apparently he has a Lucario as well. So we're going to go for another close combat again. But it is going to lower our special defense, I believe. I'm not 100% sure. I didn't really read what it said. But I'm really hoping that we're going to be able to go ahead and take this thing out. So close combat just took it out just like that. That's actually insane because it is part steel type. So we are actually on the upper hand here. This is actually insane. So I'm going to try for one more close combat. Hopefully you can take out the Rhyperior. Oh my goodness. This is insane. Mega Lucario is OP. 
But the only thing is, Rhyperior does actually have the ability Endure, I'm guessing. So that's actually kind of unfortunate. It had 1 HP, I'm guessing. So he did send out his next Pokemon. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and try to take out this thing, but I highly doubt it because Hydreigon and Lucario don't really have the best matching together. My Pokemon is going to be super weak against this. So let's go ahead and try to hit it with a Meteor Mash, but I really doubt it. And as you guys can see, we're just taken out. Let's go ahead and send out Flygon. Flygon has 1 HP. If we can go ahead and win against this thing, it's going to be crazy. So I think if my assumption is right, Flygon should be faster than Hydreigon, I'm hoping. So let's go ahead and hit it with an Outrage, please. Oh, what? That is crazy. So we just took it out with one Outrage, but we are locked into this move, so I'm hoping... <gasps> Oh my goodness, guys. So we have just one against red. This is actually insane. So we actually did a lot of training and we we're finally able to go ahead and take him out. I am super happy, guys. And I can't believe we have made it to becoming the champion of the region. I'm not even too sure what the region name of this server is. We became the champion of Pokeland. So if you guys want to go ahead and battle me, you guys can go ahead and hop on the server for yourselves. But definitely go ahead and check out this server. And I'll see you guys next time on the next video. Bye.